Hey, what's up, comic book peeps? Welcome to another episode of Direct Edition, uh, Channel for All Direct Edition. Today we're going to do a little small movie haul, but I really did this video to show appreciation to the community. I'm going to do a contest, and uh, I'm going to show you the grand prize at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, you guys ready? All right, let's do this. Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. One of my latest videos is the first appearance of Lobo. You also have the first appearance of Rogue. And you also have the first appearance of Gambit. You girls and guys be safe out there and I will catch you later. Peace. Got a stop and refill. Got all American cheeseburger. You know what the top is, lettuce, tomatoes, and onions. Got a couple onion rings left. I ate them on the way home. Yeah, I got a wing in there. Oh, yeah. About to go in. Peace. Hey, what's up, comic book peeps? Welcome to another episode of Direct Edition, the Channel for Hall Direct Edition. Um, today, we're going to do a small movie haul, and then we're also going to announce the contest or the prize for the contest. Uh, the rules of the contest is all you have to do is save my name in your video. You know, give me a shout out, <clears throat> and then uh, post under this video, you know, that you would like to enter the contest. And once you enter the contest, uh, write your name down and we'll go from there. Like I said, this is, uh, sh I'm showing you the number one prize, but I'll probably have two more prizes for uh, second and third place or second and third drawing. So yeah, let's get into it. You guys ready? All right, let's do this. And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by Let's Buy Kimmy, Cooking KD, and my fake Darth Maul from China. All right, so you know how we do on this channel. Let's get into some movies. So I needed some more scary movies in my uh, collection, and this is says that it's uh, called Spell. Uh, with Loretta Devine. I know her from a bunch of movies and I know the main character from a bunch of movies too. So it's, uh, my daughter says she watched it. She said it was about like roots and spells or voodoo. So I can't wait to watch it and definitely glad to have a scary movie in my collection. All right, let's do this. So I had to rebuy one of my favorite gangster movies of all time. This is called We Own the Night. Uh, I actually made a video so be sure to check out some of my older videos, We On The Night. There's actually a video out there uh, named We On The Night. And that's basically about me staying up all night and doing some comic book hunting and all that kind of stuff. Where well, Walmart was open 24 seven. Remember those days? But yeah, We On The Night is a pretty, really, really good movie with uh, uh, Joaquin Phoenix, Mark Wahlberg, uh, Ava Mendez. Just a very, very good uh, cop movie, but gangster. So yeah, I don't want to tell you too much, but yeah, definitely pick it up. All right, let's keep going. So I know a lot of people don't like Adam Sandler movies, but I think Adam Sandler movies are the best sometimes, uh, especially uh, Blended. I love Blended, so I had to get go, uh, just go with it. I used to have this in my collection, and this is another one that just grew legs and walked away. Uh, I think somebody came in the house and politely might have uh, tucked it away in their purse or in their pockets. But uh, definitely glad to have these two back in the collection. Uh, Just Go With It is so funny. I really don't remember it. I remember Blend It more than this one. So, uh, yeah. Nice comedy. All right, let's do this. Still haven't gotten around to watching the first series, uh, season of uh, Rick and Morty. Uh, but I'm definitely planning on just putting it in the DVD player and letting it ride. Um, definitely got to get into this one. I think I showed you guys this one before. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely have to get into some Rick and Morty to keep it moving. All right, the next one is a pretty cool movie. It's actually like a three-part series. So let's check it out. So I'm a huge fan of uh, Science of the Lambs. So this one actually has Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, and Manhunter. A lot of my sex fingers interrupt the video right there. And it's a triple feature. Uh, this is pretty cool because I definitely love uh, Silence of the Lambs. Hannibal is one of my favorite movies. I have Red Dragon, which Manhunter is the first Red Dragon, which is the first time you see Hannibal Lecter. Uh, but Hannibal Lecter is played by a different actor. 
Um, but if you watch Red Dragon and Manhunter, they're basically the same movie. Uh, they just remade it uh, later with Eric Norton. It's a real, really, really good movie. I do have uh, Red Dragon in the collection. I do have the, uh, Hannibal The Beginnings. Uh, so I do have like every movie with uh, Hannibal in it, which is pretty cool. Uh, definitely a big fan of this horror gen genre. And uh, yeah, let's see if the back has anything. Let's see. No, nah, not much to see, but all three co movie covers. Uh, Science of the Lambs, Hannibal, and Manhunter. Manhunter is a old movie. It's like, not really old like that, but it's in the 70s. Uh, and your guy from, I think, like a show like uh, NYCS, NICS, something like that. Uh, he's in it. I forget his name, but real older, good movie. It, it kind of held its own up until this point. I, I don't think the movie is bad at all. I think it kind of held uh, through all these years. Manhunter. All right, so let's keep rolling. You got two more. All right, so your first main event is Birds of Prey. My daughter kept getting on me about it. She was like, please get Birds of Prey. I was like, I am. She was like, you're such a big Harley fan. Please get it. I was like, okay, Ari. Right. So I finally got Birds of Prey. Still haven't watched it, but at least I know I have it. So whenever I feel like watching it, I can watch it. And uh, yeah, my daughter said it was a pretty uh, good movie. It was like a girl movie. But, uh, you know, I like, it's hard for me not to like a movie. So it has to completely suck. For me not to like it so hopefully i will like it and uh yeah birds of prey let's look at your last movie your main event okay so your last movie is cocaine cowboys reloaded uh it's very good it's based off the first cocaine cowboys if you don't know about cocaine cowboys it's a documentary that's based on miami um, during the 80s when I was growing up about talking about just how violent Miami was and how the Colombians bought drugs over. This one went into greater detail than the first Cocaine Cowboys. I like this one a lot and I still need to get the first one because to tell you the truth, they're nothing alike. Uh, they gave you different information on this movie and they went into more depth and they didn't tell the stories that they told in the first one. So I definitely have to rebuy the first one again and uh, I'm glad I got this one. Uh, it talks about Griselda Blondon, who was the uh, godmother of cocaine, who was actually bigger than, um, what's his name, Pablo Escobar. She was bigger than Pablo Escobar. So just imagine that. She, so she had to be 10 times more violent as a woman to run a drug organization. So that's all your movies. But let's talk about your grand prize. So your grand prize for this contest, like I said, all you have to do is mention, give me a shout out in your video. And also, too, just tell me you want to enter the contest in any of my videos uh, going forward. We're going to do, we're going to give you guys maybe, yeah, the kids in the pool. So here's your grand prize winning uh, if you want to enter the contest. If not, it's fine. But I, like I said, I'm probably going to do two other prizes. It's just that I don't have them yet. But this is your first prize to anybody who wins the contest. Uh, this is G.I. Joe. Uh, Pimp Daddy Deathstro. So I would definitely like to get this in one of my brother's hands or sister's hands. Uh, very cool action figure. This one was probably a little rare to get. I think it's dropped down a little bit, but it's still not like you could just walk up anywhere and get it. You probably have to like order it off of Amazon and eBay and pay those prices. But in this channel, it's free. I'm giving back to the community. Like I said, I have two other prizes I want to do. And uh, yeah, what you guys think about it? Just let me know in the video. If you want to enter the contest, um, comment into the contest and also give me a shout out on your video. You girls and guys be safe out there. Take it away, Big Fred. So that's pretty cool. Um, I definitely got one prize and I'm probably going to think about two other prizes um, for second and third place. There's probably going to be three winners, but I already mentioned the rules and rules are you know, just mention me in your uh, channel and to also uh, say something in my upcoming videos, like which one you'll like and, um, uh, I'm sorry, say uh, that you want to enter the contest and I'll go ahead and enter you into it. I'll write down your name or whatever and uh, we can enter you into the contest for that prize. Uh, and so once again, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition. 
the channel is for all direct edition, like, subscribe, share. Remember, where's the wisdom? Focus on the ones that show you love and on the ones that don't show you love. Hey, we're just going to keep it rolling without them. The name of the channel is Fred Hall Direct Edition. I will catch you girls and guys later. Be safe out there. Peace. Talk about dining.